Welcome to today's five minute Bible study. We're studying the theology of John Wesley. Why don't we give our reading a couple of verses from Ephesians chapter two, uh, verses eight and nine. Let me share them with you. These are the words of the apostle Paul. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. This is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Paul makes it quite clear that salvation comes to us by the grace of God through faith alone. We don't earn it. We don't merit it. We don't work for it by our good works. No, no. We simply receive it by faith based on God's grace. Now, John Wesley believed this. Matter of fact, the heart of his theology is this matter of being saved by grace. We saw in our last session as we began this study that John Wesley talked about his heart being strangely warmed. When he not only believed in his mind that you're saved by grace, but when he experienced it in his heart, he said, my heart was warmed as I knew I did trust in Christ and he had saved me, even me, from my sin. Now, for John Wesley, the heart of theology, the heart of our doctrine, our Christian doctrine, is all about salvation. Now, Wesley had a comprehensive view of salvation. He looked upon God's saving work in our life as the totality of everything God does for us. It begins with God first summoning us to come home to him. It begins with his new birth in our life. And it continues to the day he gets us to heaven fully glorified with him for eternity. All of that, John Wesley considered the great scope of salvation. And it all comes to us by grace through faith. Many have talked about Wesley's understanding of salvation as his order of salvation because he talks about the different steps God brings us through in his saving grace. As we go through this study, we'll talk in some detail about those steps of salvation, that order. But for today, we want to start by asking ourselves the question, what exactly is it to be saved? And since it's quite clear biblically, that we're saved by grace through faith. What exactly does that mean? What is it to experience salvation? What are we saved from? Well, very simply, of course, we're saved from sin. Sin is that rebellion against God. Sin is when we choose to go our own way rather than God's way. Sin is our transgression of God's law. Our saying, God, I'm going to do it my way, not yours. And sin is self-destructive. When we wander away from God, when we rebel against his way, we simply bring destruction and disaster upon ourselves. And salvation is God rescuing us from our self-destructive pattern of sin. Salvation is God delivering us from what we have chosen, that is, chosen to rebel against him. But he comes to bring us back home. So salvation is deliverance. Salvation is rescue. God has come to save us from our own sin. But now when we talk about being saved from sin, there are two aspects you have to understand. We are saved both from the guilt of sin and from the power of sin. You've got to understand both of those to understand the wonder of what God does for us when he saves us. First, he saves us from the guilt of sin. Now, when you sin, when you break the law of God, when you transgress his way, you become guilty. It's just like in our society, if you commit a crime, you are guilty and punishment needs to follow. So with sin against God, we are guilty of transgression of his law. We stand before him condemned for our sin and punishment must follow. But the wonder of the gospel is that Jesus came to take the punishment for us. He went to the cross to bear the consequences of our sin. The Bible says, he who knew no sin became sin for us. That is, he took our sin upon himself to pay the penalty for the wrongs we have done. And that is how we are freed from the guilt of sin. When we come to have faith in Jesus, his death on the cross becomes the payment for our sin. And thus the guilt is removed because the price has been paid by Jesus himself. This is what we mean by forgiveness. Our sin is forgiven. We are acquitted of the wrong we have done. 
not by our own works, but by what Jesus did on the cross for us. So salvation is to be delivered from the guilt of sin. It is to have our sin washed away. It is to experience the full forgiveness. God treats us just as if we had not sinned because the debt is removed and the guilt is done away with. You remember the old song we sometimes sing, Just As I Am? Just as I am and waity not to rid my soul of one dark blot. To thee whose blood can cleanse each spot. O Lamb of God, I come, I come. You see, by grace, we come to Jesus with one dark blot, the guilt of sin. And by the blood he shed for us on the cross, he removes it. Our guilt is removed. We are forgiven. This is the first aspect of what it means to be saved. We are saved from the guilt of sin by what Jesus did for us on the cross. We are forgiven by his blood. What a wonder it is. Now in our next session, we'll talk about what it is to be delivered from the power of sin, but we'll talk about that next time. But today, let us just rejoice in the fact that the blood of Jesus has forgiven us of all our sin. We've been forgiven of the guilt of our wrongdoing by what Jesus did for us on the cross. Amen and amen. You have a great day, and I'll see you next time in our five-minute Bible study in the theology of John Wesley.